Hello friends, welcome to the Teamers channel. This week we have brought you a video on list, getting a list of all the time zones via Java. So let's see how to get the list of all the time zones using Java. So for this we are going to use the time zone class. Let's use it time zone. From the java.util package time zone dot get available IDs. So this will return us an array of string and we'll store it in IDs. Next we are going to use a for each loop. ID and iterate it over IDs and display all the IDs okay so let's go ahead and run this and see here that we got a list of the time zones so here we have the Pacific time zone here we have the US, Hawaii, America and so on so this is the list of the time zone that we got Asia so now what we're going to do is we're going to display the GMT time along with the time zone name so let's see how to do that for that what we'll do is we'll create a new method display time zone and make it as public and also call it static so that we can call it directly from our class and it will be void so hmm. so here what we'll do is we'll pass a time zone value here time zone let's call it tz and so here we call this method display time zone time zone dot get time zone and we'll pass the ID here and we'll call it in this method okay so here what we're going to do is we'll we're going to pass the ID the particular time zone ID and we're going to get the time zone and pass it to the display time zone method so in the display time zone method what we'll do is we'll create a value for hours equals to now for converting milliseconds into hours we'll be going to use a time unit class time unit dot milliseconds dot two hours and we'll pass the time in milliseconds here tz dot get draw offset so this will return So now this will return the value in milliseconds and the milliseconds value is going to be convert into, converted into hours. Okay, so now we're going to need the minutes and calculating minutes is a bit tricky because when you convert the milliseconds into minutes, you're going to get like 520 minutes, 720 minutes. So you're gonna have to handle that. So we'll pass tz dot get row offset. Okay, and so for that test case, we're gonna have to subtract from this value the hours time unit dot hours dot two minutes and we're gonna pass hours here okay so now that we have got hours and minutes um, we're gonna make sure that minutes is in a positive value so we'll perform 
math.abs and pass the value minutes and store it in minutes okay so now let's go ahead and print the values so if the hours are greater than zero we're gonna type in system router print in statement like gmt plus hours and minutes and then we're gonna display the name of the get id okay so we're gonna display the name of the time zone but if it is less than then use the same print and statement but with a negative sign so now let's go ahead and run this and see what we got okay so we got this like gmt 12 hours gmt plus 11 hours and so on like we got eight hours zero minutes seven hours zero minutes and four hour 30 minutes here omega okay so what we're gonna do is we can modify it a little bit we can instead of using the system to order print and statement we can use system uh, we can use the string dot format and here we're gonna pass this argument gmt plus plus percentage d for integers or long values and here we're gonna pass percentage 0 to d so that if we get minutes as 0 minutes it should be displayed as 0 0 instead of a single 0 and uh, the space we are going to print the name of the time zone percentage s comma the arguments are hours comma minutes and the time zone dot get id okay so now this thing is complete and okay so it's a typo there so you're going to use the same statement here with the minus sign negative sign and we are going to print this thing so we'll use it in a system order printed in statement okay and the same thing goes for this the negative sign okay I'll reformat it using Control Shift and F, the Eclipse shortcut to reformat your code. And now let's go ahead and run this and see what we got. So we got 12.00.12.45 and 13. So this is the list of the time zone that we have. So currently we are in. Uh, making this video in India so we have a time zone of GMT plus 530 Asia Calcutta so that's it for this video guys so in this video we use the time unit class from the java.util package and we use the time zone class from the java.util package in order to get all the time zones and uh, the time unit class to convert the milliseconds into the hours and minutes so this is the way we get the list of time zones along with the time in Java so if you have any questions regarding this video or 